Thank you, Dr. Ward. In the celebration of human space flight, it is appropriate that we have comments from a person who has been there. I would like to introduce former astronaut, Bo Bobko. Bob was a pilot on the first Challenger mission, the commander of a Discovery mission, and commander of the first Atlantis mission. Bo, will you please join us and give us your views on yours tonight. Bo Bobko. Five years ago, I was standing in front of a group like this who were celebrating Yuri's night. The difference was that place was outside Sorokov, where Yuri had gone to school and where he landed after his first flight. You see, the Russians also realized that on the day when Yuri landed, that we had been propelled into a new age, the space age. And the Russians do like to celebrate. The Russians sent, remember, the Russians sent the first human into space and they are very proud of that fact. I was at Saratov as a member of the Association of Space Explorers. That group is compromised of astronauts and cosmonauts from 32 nations who have flown at least one orbit in space. Part of its chapter is it to an to promote environmental awareness. I don't believe you can look back at the Earth from space and not realize that it is fragile and needs to be protected. I recall one sunset on orbit when Don Peterson, a crew member, and I were looking out the window at the narrow band of atmosphere that's at above the limb of the Earth. Don said, you know, it's sobering to realize that 99.99% of all human activity and of all human history has taken place in that narrow band. Oleg Makarov, a Russian cosmonaut, said, anyone who has been in space knows that the patiently awaited unearthliness loses its charm quickly. It is not the boring uniform blackness of the, cosmic abyss, of the cosmic abyss that engages our attention, but the spectacle of, of our small planet haloed in blue. Suddenly, you get a feeling that you never had before, that you're an inhabitant of Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, for a long time to come, Earth is all we have. That is where we live. The Association of Space Explorers published a book of Earth photos. They called the book The Home Planet. I think that sums it up. Working with the Russians has been interesting. There's always been competition. They were the first to, first to put a human in orbit. We were the first to set foot on the moon. But now there is cooperation as well. As Pete mentioned, together we have built and operate the International Space Station where joint American and Russian crews have worked in space for 2,718 days. We should be able to see the space station fly overhead tonight in about four hours. If we are going to be good stewards of our environment, we must work with the Russians and with many other nations. Our challenge is on a global scale. That challenge is great, but we are getting new understanding and capabilities to apply to the problem each day. We will not solve the problem of tomorrow with today's technologies. We must work to gain new knowledge and capabilities so the space age will be a great age for humanity. Let me close with a quote from Ed Mitchell one of the Apollo astronauts. Suddenly, from behind the rim of the moon, in long, slow motion moments of immense majesty, there emerges a sparkling blue and white jewel, a light, delicate sky blue sphere laced with slowly swirling veils of white, rising gradually like a small pearl in a thick sea of black mystery. 
It takes more than a moment to realize this is Earth, home. Thank you and enjoy Yuri's night.